The Great Escape. This film was directed by John Sturges in 1963. The following presentation was produced by National TV and further describes this event. On a cold night in March 1944, captured Allied airmen broke out through a secret tunnel from a prison camp the Nazis thought was escape proof. Their breakout was immortalized in The Great Escape, a famous movie starring Steve McQueen. Interesting idea. How many are you taking out? 250. These prisoners of war were held at Stalag Luft III, which is located 100 miles southeast of Berlin. The following images are of the camp. The prisoners of war devised a plan to escape. Their plan consisted of three underground tunnels, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Tom and Dick were discovered prior to the escape. Thus, Harry served as the only secret and functioning tunnel. Facts vs. Fiction The most significant difference between the film and reality was the weather on the night of the escape. In real life, the escapees left on a freezing night in March, with snow up to five feet deep. In the film, the escapees left on a beautiful night with clear skies. Due to the freezing weather, Harry's trap door was frozen shut, which inevitably delayed the escape for at least an hour and a half. In the film, no such problems existed because of the absence of snow. The following images display how Harry came up short of the forest. Both in reality and in the film, they were faced with this setback. In reality, the men that were unable to escape were given a warning, and out of fear of being shot and killed on the scene, returned to their rooms. In the film, all of the planned escapees were present. Key fact that the movie does not emphasize enough is the Canadian's prominent role in The Great Escape. Yet, the movie greatly emphasized the roles of U.S. and British officers for commercial purposes. Furthermore, an air raid on the night of the genuine escape shot off all electricity and slowed down the escape. Yet, in the film, the lack of electricity actually helped more people escape. In both real life and the movie, 76 men were able to escape. The 77th man was caught by the guards. In reality, the guards had no idea where the tunnel was. The guards began by searching the huts, giving men time to burn their fake papers. Hut 104, where the escape tunnel Harry was located, was one of the last to be searched, and despite using dogs, the guards were unable to find the entrance. The tunnel's location wasn't discovered until one of the German guards crawled back through the tunnel and got trapped at the entrance and called for help. The prisoners of war then opened the entrance and revealed its location. In the film, the tunnel was found immediately and the men were caught red-handed. Arguably, the most visible variation from reality in the film was the presence of U.S. officers. In real life, U.S. officers were transferred to a different camp months prior to the escape. Yet in the film, the main star, Hiltz, played by Steve McQueen, was American. The following presentation was produced by Movie Clips and showcases The Great Escape's most iconic scene. Sadly, this scene was purely made for Hollywood. Advisors to the film looked down upon this unrealistic scene. Yet, the directors kept it because it captured the indomitable spirit of the prisoners of war. The real men that escaped were Norwegian and Dutch. In the film, the escapees were British, Polish, and Australian. The following images are of the real men who escaped Stalag Luft III. One of the main reasons why these men escaped was because they spoke fluent German. Moreover, in the film, Bram van der Stock is represented by Sedgwick, the Australian manufacturer. Many of the characters in The Great Escape were based off of real people. For example, the Tunnel King in the film, Danny, was based off of Wally Floody. Floody and Danny both created hand-operated air pumps for the tunnels. Floody was one of the main technical advisors of the film. Thus, many of the details of the tunnel construction were extremely accurate. Yet, unlike the film, Floody was unable to make the escape. The main star of the film, Hiltz, was based off of William Ash. Ash desperately wanted into the war against Nazi Germany and renounced his own U.S. citizenship to join the Royal Canadian Air Force. In addition, Ash never made the escape because he was, as per usual, in the cooler. Thus, he was given the title, the Cooler King. One of the main heroes in real life was Roger Bushel. His codename was Big X, and he served for inspiration for Richard Attenborough's character in The Great Escape, Roger Bartlett. Both men were the head of their operations, and both were among the 50 killed after the escape. <laughs>